first, go to https colon slash slash classroom dot us dash one dot family zone all one word dot io forward slash classrooms. When you see that screen that comes up next, you're going to type aurora.co.us. And then you will sign in with your Google uh, account. Make sure you're in the right account. You will see that my intro to digital audio video class has 29 students. That's my current class for this semester. So I will click start class. Next, I'll choose a session length. They recently added three hours and then click start. Then you will see uh, a list of all the students that are in your class. This particular example shows students that I can see from my phone. And when I click on Kevin Escobar's um, profile, for example, I can see that Kevin has 12 tabs open and this is the tabs that he's involved in for our class kevin was pretty much on task this was about two hours into our session when i do this from the computer literally this is what it looks like that's my computer um also same thing you can see that all the students are writing their scripts or um, putting their files in google drive or uh, they still have the chat window open so that they can ask questions or they're working on their soundtrack. Later, after I ended the class, and I don't think the students knew that they were, their screens were available. I saw all the students were still working, so I took a picture. That's actually kind of impressive. And uh, Karen Martinez was already starting on Miss Hill's information maybe for a younger sibling. Anyway, that concludes how you do it. And then basically it just times out. Um, while this resource is running, you're gonna wanna make sure that your laptop is plugged in, especially if you're trying to run other um, streaming apps simultaneously. It was hot, uh, cause I had a lot of things running at the same time. I had Screencastify going class wise and I had the chat. So this concludes um, how to use class wise. If you have questions, you can email me uh, at hansonsclasses at gmail.com, or you may use the APS email referenced earlier at gmhanson at auroraK12.org. Have a great day.